Hi everyone, my name is Jin Xin and I play the cello. I was in the Singapore Youth Chinese Orchestra from 2008 to 2014. So I'm currently doing my bachelor's degree at the, the NAFA SCAM Joint Degree Program. Hi everyone, my name is Eunice and I'm currently pursuing my master's in music, cello performance in Southern Illinois University Carpenter. Hi everyone, I'm Randy, a percussionist in SNYCO. So I actually played uh, in both uh, Chinese orchestra and the symphony orchestras. Uh, I think that both orchestra has a very different tempo and texture. Personally, I feel that it's more fun and challenging to be in a Chinese orchestra as there are usually more percussion parts for us to play as compared to a symphony orchestra. We also have more pieces to rehearse and perform in a concert as the pieces are usually shorter than the repertoire played in a symphony orchestra concert. Both orchestras have relatively different cultures. So if you want to think of the Chinese orchestra like a Korean army stew, which is like filled with many ingredients and every instrument represents an ingredient. And I would think of the cello section in the Chinese orchestra as uh, the baked beans. So it's not a flavour that you taste immediately, but it's an essential ingredient in the pot for the soup. The repertoires I played in the symphony orchestras are usually uh, uh, works by Beethoven, Dvorak, uh, Tchaikovsky and uh, usually they are like composers who are not around anymore uh, but otherwise in the Chinese orchestra I usually play works uh, by living composers uh, if not works uh, returned around 60 to 80 years from now and I feel that uh, in a country with such diverse culture it will uh, definitely be a good and enjoyable experience to be able to play in both types of orchestras. So I have a very strong interest in playing contemporary and folk music and so after I graduate I will definitely continue to play and perform actively uh, in the Singapore art scenes. I am currently studying music in NAFA, majoring in Western percussion and would love to pursue music as my career one day. And hopefully, I will be back as a professional musician to continue performing and contributing back to the local music scene. Yes, definitely. I will definitely be coming back to become a better and professional musician. I joined the orchestra back when I was in SEC 3. I got many opportunities such as performing 3 concerts a year, having one-to-one -one lessons with teachers from SEO. I also got to go on 2 overseas tours with the orchestra. SNYCO gave me the chance to experience what it would be like to be in a professional orchestra, which made me want to pursue my music studies even more. So with the help of the uh, IITS scheme back then, I was able to have cello lessons frequently and that definitely serves as a good foundation for me to pursue my professional studies. Well, I first joined um, SYCO in 2007 and I thought I really enjoy playing in the orchestra. I really like working with different musicians, like working with conductors and learning from different people. And I want to expose myself to more of this. After about a year, I was like, I'm going, to, I'm going to study music in the future. And I applied to NAFA and I got in and it led me to where I am today. So lastly, the Singapore National Youth Chinese Orchestra will be holding their annual auditions soon in the August. So do check out their website. Please visit our website and sign up for auditions happening this August. Hope to see you there.